is very dramatic, just how I like it. It doesn't matter what kind of skin tone you have, make them feel confident about themselves. I hope you guys have been inspired. Hi guys, it's Yasmin here. I'm filming a tutorial on how to get this awesome red lips. So we're starting off with Fresh's Sugar Lip Treatment. Okay, now we're going to be taking the OCC Cosmetic Pencil in Cybel. And I'm using a lip pencil because it's made of wax and it's going to stay there for so long. Taking a red lip pencil. I'm using the number 999 by Dior and I am placing this color right in the center of the lip. You do want to take the other end of the Dior lip pencil, which is a little brush to help you blend that red into the brown. Okay, so now taking Tarte by OCC. It's like a black eyeliner, but it's meant for everything. You can wear it on your eyes and for your lips. You want to focus this color on the outer corners. Now next, we're going to be taking a lip brush by Dior 24. Oops. So we're going to be bringing the black from the corners of the mouth into the red a lot further. We have our red velvet lip. It's very dramatic, just how I like it, and I love the definition. So hope you liked it. Bye! Hey guys, this is Ty. I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve the perfect matte summer lip. First, we have to start off with prep. So today, what I'm gonna use is a sugar lip polish from Fresh. Sometimes I use a spoolie, a clean spoolie, just to rub off some of the extra dead and dry skin. Now, we're gonna use another product from Fresh. It's called the Sugar Lip Treatment. Once this is applied, take a dry Kleenex and blot off some of the extra. You're doing this so that once you apply your matte lip, you won't have any slippage. Today, I'm going to be using a color from the Kat Von D collection, the Everlasting Lip Liquid Lipstick in LUV. The way that this is applied is you want to start with on the bottom lip, black some of the extra onto the top of the lip, and then outline the lip. You can wait one minute and then apply another layer to make it very rich and pigmented. Once the product has dried, you then want to take a concealer and what I'm using today is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel to outline the, the perimeter of the lip to give it a more clean appearance. Now for an extra pop of shimmer, I did go in and add the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Luminizer in Stardust. Since we're doing a matte lip, we have no shine around the lip. So to bring back our glow, I'm just adding this to the Cupid's bow and around the corners of the lip. And voila, you have it. The perfect matte summer lip. I hope you guys have been inspired and are going to go out onto stage and show this to our clients or even try it out on yourselves. Thank you. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Tay and I'll be showing you how to do this really cool 3D lips. Step one, you're going to want to prime your lips using a clear lip primer all over the lips. Step two, you're going to want to line the lips, avoiding a negative area at the top and bottom lip. Those are going to be used later on as shine bubbles. So like I said, you want to avoid these areas. Now you're going to fill in the lip completely using a lip liner of your choice. Next, you're going to fill in the lip with the lip color of your choice, making sure to avoid the negative areas. Using a white eyeliner, you're going to fill in those negative areas, and that's going to create a shine effect. Next, you're going to fill in the top and bottom lip with a black eyeliner, creating lip lines, plump ones. You're going to line your lips, and you're done. That's how you do 3D lips. My name is Jalisa. The only main focus that I'm geared towards was African American clients coming in and saying that the only lip color they could do is something like this, which is the plump color. They can wear any type of different color from orange, coral, to blue, and you just make it work by just using different lip liners. Okay, but the only thing I did was use the OCC lip liner 
brown lip liner makes it have a gradient effect and then I use Givenchy number 123 which is called beige so it's like a pinky nude which can go with any type of dark skin tone so it makes it look really really nice take a red lip liner fill in the entire lip and then put um, Buxom Caracatur the blue base red actually makes the teeth look white Okay, the only thing I did was take a berry lip liner and I took OCC's Lip Tar in Amin. As you can see, you have a little bit of definition there, but it dumbs down the pink. So you don't have to be afraid of wearing any type of different colors because it just dumps it down. Take a deeper, a plum lip liner, fill it in, in the corners as well as around the lip. And the color that I used was Lancome's Pretty Burgundy. It also looks very nice on dark skin, so it's really good. Uh, as I showed you, five different lip colors for dark skin tones. It doesn't matter what kind of skin tone you have, just make sure that you find something right for them. Make them feel confident about themselves. Thank you.